and welcome back to Cheap and Green. Today we are doing the one box challenge. This challenge has been issued by Rachel of Sweet and Simple Home and it's always such a great sort of cleaning exercise to get all of those piles of stuff that seem to accumulate and get them out of your house. If you're not familiar with the one box challenge, this is how it works. You take any box you want um, or a bag, it could be a bag, and you go around your house and you fill it with things that are no longer useful to you, not you know your style or just aren't working for you anymore, and you can pass that along to a thrift store or a charity in your neighborhood. This is what I've come up with with this uh, season's one box challenge. Um, somehow I always end up with more than one box, which either means I'm really good at decluttering or I have a house that is crammed full of stuff. But um, in any case, I'm glad to get rid of all of this. So let me just go through it and show you what I've done. We went through Maya's closet and um, edited out the things that no longer fit her um, or that she just doesn't like anymore. So, you know, I mean, we've gotten quite a lot of use out of most of these things. I'm sure she's had this skirt for two or three years now. And um, some of this will pass along to Goodwill. This one I think I'm going to take to my antique booth. This was actually a gift sent from England from my husband's uh, babysitter, if you can believe it, from when he was little. She sent it to Maya because she knew Maya was really into vintage. And this is a vintage skirt from Ruth's mom from the 40s or the 50s. And uh, Maya really enjoyed it, but it uh, is a little snug for her now. So I'm gonna take it and put it in my antique booth. I've decided to pass along this t-shirt. Um, I really like it and it's very, you know, it's very soft and comfortable, but it has a tag on the, um, the inside right here. And I just, I find it really scratchy and bothering me. So I haven't been wearing it. So I think it's time to pass that along. This is a pillowcase that is all faded. So that can go another one of these free giveaway bags. Does anyone else just find that these sort of breed in their house? I, I must have like a hundred of them. Coaxial cable, more cables, more cables, another cable, and another cable, and a mouse. And this we bought by accident and then of course lost the receipt, so we can't return it. So hopefully that will be uh, of use to somebody at Goodwill. Um, and then just a tin. And a couple of books. I think I'm going to take this one to um, the antique booth. It's a good color and I'll use it, you know, just to prop up things. And um, these were donated to the little library, but you know, people just don't borrow them from the little library, so they just sit and sit. So I think I'm just going to pass these along to Goodwill. Inside the box, um, I have a Bath and Body Works candle holder. And I don't need that anymore. And I found these rubber stamps. I'm not even sure where I got them from. Like, I don't know why I would have a Seattle, Washington stamp, but I do. Um, so those are going to go. And um, just these little plastic containers. I don't find them that useful. Um, these are feet to appliances. So I don't need those. Um, and this is just, these are old art books and art supplies that... Um, I mean, we are very well stocked with art supplies, so we don't really have a use for these things. I have these little, um, these are the sleeves you put on coffee cups, you know, when you get them at takeout, but these are for children and everybody here is kind of grown up now. So I think I'll just pass these along. I went through our Easter stuff and I think we can pass these along. I haven't used this bag, well, either of these bags really in, in probably a couple of years. So I think that it's time for them to seek another home. There's some more Easter stuff that I think we're just finished with. We have so much for Easter now that I'm really trying to keep it to one bin. And uh, a little bit of editing goes a long way. I'm also going to pass along this walk. Um, this one is covered with Teflon. And I'm not super comfortable with using Teflon anymore, especially since we got the Lovebirds. So I've picked up a stainless steel wok. And I'll use that one instead. And... Uh, 
this one can be passed along. In anticipation of this challenge, I also went through my closet and I listed some of the items that I had, like sweaters and jackets and things like that, on the online garage sale in my neighborhood. So I was actually able to sell a few items, not too many, but a few, and get a couple of dollars. So that was really useful, and I'm including those in this challenge. I want to thank Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home for issuing this challenge. It is um, such a wonderful way for us to go through our homes and free up that important real estate, clean out the corners, and um, just make sure that we're whittling it down to things that we actually really appreciate and use and love. So I really enjoy doing the challenge. And as you can see, I had a lot of corners to clean out. So thank you again, Rachel. And if you aren't familiar with Rachel, then please do go and visit her page. She, I'm sure, will have a playlist of all the other people who are participating in the challenge. Well, thanks for joining me today on Cheap and Green. I hope you enjoyed the one box challenge and that you'll visit the other participants and I hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see.